Hello, my dear friends. I am Prash Rathor, Assistant Professor of Civil Engineering Department. Today, I am going to discuss with you on subject environmental studies and disaster management. Today's topic is main environment proficiency. Let us start. Relationship between different components. We know. The component of environment are human being, plants, and animal. Plants prepare their own food from photosynthesis with the help of carbon dioxide and sunlight. Animals like goat and sheep eat grass and herbs. Then men eat fruits, vegetables from plants, and also eat animals. In this way, plants dependent on sunlight. Animals dependent on plants, human beings or men depending on both plants and animals. Even human beings respire with the help of oxygen, which is obtained from photosynthesis and release carbon dioxide. In this way, all the three components of environment are interlinked. Main environment relationship. The relationship between the main and the environment has been extinguished in the early period itself. Human beings live in the kingdom of nature and interact with constantly. The influence of nature in the form of air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, and the flow of energy and the intensity. And these are the main and environment relationships. What does human environment interactions mean? Human environment interactions means human activity that directly impact the environment. Either it may be positive or it may be negative. But it doesn't mean that the whole actions have a negative impact. We are entirely dependent on environment around us to survive, and hence I will show you shortly there are positive ways. In which our interaction influences the environment. Unfortunately, so human beings have come to a stage where our negative impact on natural surroundings far outweighs the positive. Let's see. Here are the three types of human environment interactions. Number one, dependence on the environment. Number two, modifications of the environment. Number three. Adaptations to the environment. First, dependence on the environment. It means every single living thing on this planet is entirely dependent on the environment. Whether we or she live in Boston or Central America, but we or she totally dependent on the environment. Whether it's for air, water, food, or shelter, living beings simply cannot survive without some form of interactions. Now, let's take one example. Suppose someone living in Boston might also be dependent on environment in Central America for certain food, or on the mineral mine in China for other products. Basically, everything you see around you. Is entirely dependent on environment resources. Data from the thousands of miles away. Second, modifications of the environment. Human activity frequently result in the environment change, both with negative or positive risk. Even the most ecological sustainable farming method and renewable energy project require resources provided by the nature. Human beings use increasing amount of land to build home, shopping center, and school. When it gets cold, we want cold, wood, and oil. Can we all correct from our environment? So these are the points. This show modifications of the environment. Third, adaptations to the environment. People seem to live in the strangest place on this planet. Which is partially due to the succession in evolution. Here, 
the most important line is that the more successful species are able to adapt to change in their environment, the more likely they are to survive. For example, when you find people living above the Arctic Circle and dense jungle and dry savanna, we will get the idea of how much we have adapted to the natural environment. So, Adoptions to the environment is very important. Some examples of human environment indexes are deforestation, water uses, energy resources, oil indices, natural mineral resources, waste production, air bomb pollution, ocean, lake, and river traffic, tourism, urban expansions, air deforestation, waste pollution. Best productions, air one pollutions are the negative impact in Texas of human with the environment. The positive impact of the human environment in Texas, like renewable energy, urban green projects, eco tourism, protection of natural park, national park. Best reuse and recycling, water management. Now, and conclusion of human environment protections. People need to back up to fact that all human activities in some way impact the environment. As a human race, we need to change how we use and abuse the natural resources that we rely on so much. Some of the change will have to be come through new legal policies and approach to use of natural resources. But I believe that we can do a lot more by starting in our home and communities and societies. See, if you can figure out more way to increase your positive impact while decreasing your negative impact to the environment. So, thank you, friends. I hope you like this video. Stay tuned with us.